We're an organising union and one of the measures of organising is a demonstrated capacity to grow. It's hard to grow trade unionism and in fact all of the trends both nationally and internationally are in the opposite direction. They're going down. Partly because of the neoconservative attack the war on workers, the changed global conditions, the pressure that workers are placed under within their workplace. So it's an enormous achievement for a small union like ours under the tremendous political and industrial pressure we are under to translate that into percentages like 10% or better. In the last four years the MUA has grown faster than any union in the country. That's union business. Well done. What we are building at the MUA is strategic, it's militant, and we're growing. We're more than a union, we're a movement. And part of that movement means we take our women, our youth, and our Indigenous members along with us. So that's what we need to think about, think about how. To achieve our goals, we need an active, empowered, strong female membership. We have a strong commitment to increasing the number of women in our industry and supporting them throughout their working life. Union yeah, men supporting! Union structural support is crucial for the representation of women to grow. Organising has become one of the main focuses of the union, particularly in new areas and new industries. Organising helps us campaign on a much broader scale, uh, from the industrial to the social justice issues that we hold dear to our hearts. As part of our growth and organising strategy, we're very excited to be announcing that we've included organisers across the country from North Queensland, South Australia, Western Australia and the Northern Territory. It's not just about growing the union, it's about moving into these new work sites and ensuring that the delegate structures are in place and that in turn ensures that the union remains strong nationally and globally. Being a young MUA member, it's great learning off older comrades and veterans, learning from their past struggles. But it's also good being a youth member that uh, I can have my say in the union and my thoughts are heard. We are the future. These are our jobs on our wharves and on our shores. It's important that we have a clear path forward but in doing that, we shouldn't forget where we've come from. MUA members have been involved in a whole range of direct actions, strike action, bans and limitations to secure better outcomes uh, in enterprise agreements over the last period. They had, what's the unemployment rate here in the Hunter? We've had an incredible period of struggle where we've seen a massive ruling class offensive, employers lining up one after the other to wind back conditions of workers. We're not buggering off. We're not buggering off like you buggered off BHP over the road and have been in this community and came back. Employers have given us nothing. Everything we've got has come through struggle and we're going to continue to fight to make sure that maritime workers have the best possible conditions that they deserve. <laughs> <laughs>